Hello, today I'm going to review these adhesive numbers. I've just gotten a new mailbox, and as you can see, it's a plastic mailbox. It's a little bit rainy today, so I brought a towel so we can dry things off. But I stuck some of these numbers on this side, and the ones that I put on were these bigger ones. So you should be able to see, here we go, these. So notice how they come with two sheets. So if you have repeating numbers like I do, and you don't have any more than two, then one package will work for the sizes. So on this side of my mailbox, I have plenty of room, so I put the big ones here. And you see how sticky that is? See how I'm rubbing it? It's even rainy, right? This I need to stick down a little better, but yeah, it's, these are good, okay? Look at that. Now, come over here. These were the original ones that I had. These are not the ones from Amazon. These are different. Check this out, okay? See that? I mean, that's, that's terrible, right? So that's why I bought these, because this is not going to last. So let's just take those off and get rid of them. Let's stick them in the mailbox. And then, got a little bit of traffic going on, on here. Then I'm going to dry this off so that we can put on the other numbers. We've got a lot of rain today. We wanted to do this on a non-rainy day, but none of those have happened lately. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it now. So there you see, I've dried it off, okay. And then I'm gonna put the smaller ones on this side because this is my, the space that I have. So let's start with six. I'm gonna peel it off. There it is. Okay, so you peel it off. Just put it right there where you want it. Six, and I got my other six slightly crooked on the other side. So this one I'm gonna to try to do straight. Let me just get it off my finger. There we go. And we can kind of set it. I got a little crooked, so I'm gonna go again. There we go. That's better. All right, six. See that? That is so much more reliable than that other number I had, right? When I did that, it just fell right off. And here's five. So the thing with the five is this little uh, join is a little bit difficult to get because it's, it's a little thin right there. You see that? So it's hard to get it a little, it's hard to get it straight, but we're just gonna put the five next to the six. See if we can't get that little join straight. There we go. All right, not too difficult, right? Let's give it another dry off. Make sure we're still dry over here because we have a second five. And so we just go to the next sheet. And if you have a friend, you can even buy these together if they have different numbers on their mailbox. So, or if you ever move and you, uh, you know, need some different numbers, just keep them around. I feel like I move around a lot. And it's kind of a hassle sometimes. There we go. All right, six, five, five. Look at that, stuck on all nice. Looks great. And the other thing is, I can't show you this right now because it's daytime, but when I'm driving home and the, the lights hit it, it does reflect. So that's nice to know that you'll, you can see, because as you can see, like this road, there's a lot of mailboxes and sometimes it's hard to get a landmark to know where your specific driveway is, right? So the, the lights will shine on that. And then we also have them on this side, the bigger ones. You see on this side, we've got the bigger ones. So lights will hit that. Also, if you wanted, you know, you could always put them on the side post. So probably the smaller letters would be the right size for that. Um, just so you know, in case whatever your mailbox structure is. So if you're looking for some, some good uh, numbers to, that'll work on a plastic mailbox, is that, and this would work on metal also, but I was having a hard time finding one that would work on plastic because most of the commercially available numbers don't stick to plastic. These work. So highly recommend these. You get four sheets, two sizes. So it's a great value. Hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.